Hi Sequels friends! This week's video, we're getting back to the good ones. It is a haul video. I am through all of that gifted stuff. Well, that's not quite true. I just lied to you. I have probably four or five gifted pieces here to share with you, but I'm through the majority of that gifted stuff and I finally got to get out and go to the Goodwill bins. So that's what this video is gonna be all about. I just wanna let you know I spent $25 and I'm looking to make anywhere between 500 and 800 with that 25 spent. So I am super stoked. So stay tuned and see what I got. Hi Sequels friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Heather and I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. And I use this YouTube channel to document that journey as well as thrifty, thrift flips, and all that kind of good stuff. So if you're interested in that kind of material, go ahead and subscribe below and hit that bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video. And if you like this video and you like haul videos and all of that kind of good stuff, then go ahead, give me a thumbs up, hit the like, as that does help me know what kind of videos to create for you in the future. So let's get right into it. If you watched the preview, you know I finally got to go to the Goodwill bins and pick up some goodies, but I was also gifted a few things. So let's just get right into it. This is a Metro Style. It is, oh, here we go. Metro Style. It is a size 16, and um, this is a two-piece set. It includes this really great khaki um, double button placket military kind of a crop jacket with some awesome extra button detailing at the sleeves and that is paired with this beautiful very long maxi probably a half circle skirt so it is a, a two-piece set and it is giving me totally early 2000 vibes, mid 2000 vibes. Um, I just love it. Like I said, it is a size 16 and I am looking, I'm gonna put it out at $29 and we'll go from there. This brand isn't um, super high end, but I think the look is pretty cool and it is a nice quality hefty um, khaki chino material. So we'll see what we can get from it. This, um, jacket blazer was gifted to me it did come as a two-piece set but unfortunately the skirt had a broken zipper that I was unable to fix but as you know I have a love for all things blazers I figured I'd go ahead and list the blazer and it is Isabel and Nina and as you can see there it is a size 14 just a really cute charcoal blazer two button and those are real pockets and I'm just gonna list that starting at 24 but I expect to get at least $14 for it I love 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 this it is brand together it is a size large this beautiful creamy peach turtleneck ribbed and then it has this accenting at the waist and what is so beautiful about it are these open weave crocheted arms i absolutely adore this sweater the only downside is it does have this very small faint stain on it i tried to do i washed it and i did try a little of the liquid detergent and it didn't come out um, that is what I use for stain treatment, so I'm not sure if it will come out, but I'm just going to denote that in the listing because I think it's too cute not to give it a try. Again, I'm going to start at 24 based on styling, but hope to get at least 14 for it. And the last in my freebie gifted to me is this new with tag, Romans. And it does say here it's a two-piece set, but I only received this one piece, so that is what I'm gonna sell. And you can see it is new with tags with all of its little accoutrement in there if needed. But I am so in love with this genuine laser, genuine leather blazer jacket. Um, super soft, and it has this wonderful, um, kind of a asymmetrical closure and then all this super cool 
gold embroidery, gaudy goldness, love it, along with these gold seed beads. And that is just all over the front, kind of like this cool starbursty pattern. Oh my God, it gives me such 80s vibes. I don't think it's 80s, but it's giving me crazy 80s vibes. You got a little bit of a padded shoulder in there. I am so in love. I can't wait to see what the response to this jacket is. And I am listing this for probably, I think I'm going to start it at 60 and hope to get at least 50 for it. The regular retail on these jackets are $2.59, but when I did a little bit of research, it doesn't look like most people are getting more than like 60 bucks for them. So I'm going to start realistic and we'll go from there. So that's my freebie haul, haul. and um, out of those freebie things, you have to bear with me because you know I can't see without my glasses, and I don't want you to have to be distracted by the ring light in my glasses the whole time, which drives me nuts when I watch other people's videos, but I'm over 40, so I can't fucking see without them, so that's the reality. Watch out, kids. If you're not 40 yet, shit gets real after 40. So let's see, that total for those few items, again, that were completely gifted to me, so there's no cost of goods. I expect to make anywhere from 96 to $136. So pretty freaking stoked about that and loving the styling on those items. So I'm really excited to kind of see what happens if people like them. So next up, everything else besides this first item, everything else is from the Goodwill bins, but our Goodwill bins here in Asheville is attached to Goodwill, so I had to stop in the store. And when I did stop in the store, I found these. They cost me $4.69. And um, if you watched some of my previous videos, you may have known I got a couple of Cole Haan, which is what this brand is. There you go. I got a couple of Cole Haan, um, Nike Air women's shoes in my thread up box and they moved really quickly. So when I saw these at Goodwill, I figured I'll give them a try. Since they all are Cole Haan and they are Nike Air men's, they're in pretty decent condition. I mean, I'm pretty impressed with it. I'd be happy to go ahead and nab them. Um, I've got them between 39 and 49. So you know me, if you follow me, I always start high. You can always lower the price. I'd rather start high and see if anybody bites at that high price, so you can always lower it. But they're just a great black men's um, super comfy loafer. There is a little bit of wear. I don't know if you'll be able to see here. Just a little bit of wear right here. I did polish them up. If you follow me on Instagram, then you saw this and my lovely gaudy goldness uh, blazer. Um, I did post those on Instagram. And if you do not follow me on Instagram, I'll pop that shit right there. Sequels.boutique. Come and follow me for some previews. Um, but I use some of that um, Doc Martens, Dr. Martens Wonder Balsam. And it is fucking awesome. And it shined them up really nice. But there is just a little bit of wear on there. But again, we're going to start at that 39 to 49 range and see what we can get. So I did pay $4.69 for those, like I said. Now we're going to get into purely Ben's stuff. Since I'm on the shoe kick, I'll go ahead and talk about these shoes. I am flabbergasted. Um, I've only found one pair of shoes in the Goodwill bin since I've been going. The Goodwill bin shoes are in horrific condition where I'm at, which is why I end up buying my um, thrifted shoes through Thread Up. But I can't believe it. I found a pair of sneakers. They were not in the shoe bins. They were mixed in with some regular clothes. They are Askis. I should know how to say it since these are the running shoes I own, but I don't. They are the Gel Nimbus. I have sold a pair of these before because a friend gifted me a pair. Um, so I actually picked these up because they're nine and a half and I thought they would fit me, but oh no. I'm a true 10 when it comes to sneakers now. So I could not keep these, but I adore them. They are great. Um, like I said, these are my running shoes. I, I like them. They're very comfortable. They do have a little marking on here. There is a tiny bit of wear. They have definitely been used before, but they still have a lot of life in them. So gently used condition. I am going to hit those up at 34 to start with. But I gotta tell you, if I get 19 for it might be pretty pretty. Pretty fucking stoked. Max Azaria collection. And it is a size four. 
How beautiful is this skirt? Love it. Yeah, it's a silk blend and you can feel it, feel it in the skirt. And it has all this gorgeous, gorgeous embroidery. And again, this is one of those skirts I found in the bins. Um, I did need to repair the um, hook and eye here was coming off. So super simple um, sew fix. And there was a small, what looked like um, a grease stain oil stain in the back my tip always you get those stains squirt a little dish soap on it let it sit for a couple days put it in the wash and it came right out for sure and I actually think this is a um I don't think it was a machine wash but I don't believe in following the rules don't tell me what I gotta do clothing manufacturers it is a dry clean only I went ahead and washed it on the um, hand wash cycle in my washing machine and it looks absolutely fabulous so I will also disclose that in my listing so people are not super afraid when things say dry clean only starting it at 39 and hoping for at least 24 this is just um, a Calvin Klein's jeans top they retail for about $66. I'm gonna start it at 29. I do think already that that's probably high. I'd hope to get 19 to 14 for it. Like I said, it's Calvin Klein jeans. I know Calvin Klein, um, and it is a size large there. Calvin Klein used to mean a whole lot back in the day, but it seems like they pretty much sell this brand freaking everywhere now. So I'm not really sure how much I can get for it, but I love the styling, that open um, cold shoulder. A little bit of a bat wing and really pretty color so give that a try had to snatch it up next up is this chaps puffer vest oh my god could you have any more southern comfort than this not my vibes but i love it and appreciate for people whose vibes it is like i said it is chaps you're talking about a size extra large Classic, classic buffalo um, plaid puffer vest. And you have this cute little um, faux fur detailing. Gonna start that at 29 and hope to get at least 19 for it. This I picked up bait. 100% based on aesthetics. I absolutely adore this skirt. Um, when I got home, I figured out that it is Who What Wear, which is a Target brand. And I gotta tell you folks, I need to get back out to the stores. I am such a thrift store junkie that I barely hit the stores anymore. And it's really harming me on knowing what brands to pick up and what not to. And in reality, going back, I probably would not have picked this up knowing it's Target brand, but I just love it. Um, I'm calling it a car wash skirt. I know your normal car wash skirts are a little bit different than this. It does have the full pencil underneath and then all these fun straps going on it and I just love it I think it's really cute um, but given that it is a Target brand and it retails for only $35 I'm gonna start it at 16 but I got, I got 9 to 12 for it I'll be happy it'll definitely be worth those prices I'm paying in the bins and if you don't know and you're new to following me I figure out my bins pricing not on weight I um, get a total of the number of items that I snagged when I went to the bins and I divide it by the um, cost of my trip, which means this time my cost of goods worked out to about $1.15 a piece. So this I picked up again, purely for aesthetic reasons. It is Antonio Milani. It is a size extra small, so we'll see how that does because it is what I would consider a fringe size. But it's a very cute peplum top with these adorable, again, crochet cutouts. I clearly have a thing going for that right now. And I just think a very wearable top. Something like this retails for $89. So again, I'm starting it out at 29, hoping to get at least 19. Gotta be realistic, even if I got the $10 range for it, it'd still be worth the $1.15 price, but you know, gotta try for the big numbers. This is just Banana Republic and it is Banana Republic Factory. I've said previously that I wasn't sure that I was gonna pick up any more Banana Republic Factory. I do have, um, Banana Republic does move for me to some degree, but I could not resist this absolutely cute, cute, um, d uh, shit, fabric, um, 
it is a double zero and it is a petite. So we're talking a true fringe size. Like I said, I know some people don't love fringe sizes, but I think fringe sizes have a market on the internet. They're just gonna sit a little bit longer. Your turn's not gonna be as fast. But how adorable is that print? I can't resist this little Parisian women's skirts and this wonderful uh, collar. Uh, given it is Banana Republic Factory, it retails for around $68. Again, I'm gonna start at 29. If I get the 14 to 19 um, range, I will be super happy with my purchase. This, I'm not sure how to say. I think it's Serana, Serana, depending on your pronunciation. I didn't know anything about this. This is a medium. I don't know anything about this brand. I just thought that this top is adorable. It's a medium and it's got all this extra fabric zhuzhing goodness. Um, I just loved it and the little um, bar tack thing here. Well, come to figure out after some research, this is an Anthropology Nordstrom brand, which all you guys are rolling your eyes who probably already knew that. But again, I'm not out in the malls and the stores enough, so I don't always know. I pick up things based on the way they feel and the way that they look, and I just absolutely love this cute little keyhole neckline. Um, something like this would retail for $98, so I'm gonna start it at 39 and really hope to get 24 for it. I will be super stoked. Is Eddie Bauer. I have had success with Eddie Bauer. Um, it is a medium, but it is not something that I would normally pick up. It is not something that I would guarantee you could sell for an over $20 price point. And if you've been following me, you know that I'm gifted a lot of freebie stuff. And so I'm really working hard that when I source, I source things that are over $20. And this did not fit the bill. But like I said, Eddie Bauer stuff has sold for me. It's moved quickly. So hopefully I'll move it quickly. Um, it has a little bit of an elastic waist, a cute peasant top, and a little bit of the elastic here. With this ditzy little floral, it looked like little lavender. So we'll see. Like I said, starting it at 19, I'm happy if I get 9 to 12 for it. I am a total sucker for anything that is new with tags, especially in the bins. If it's new with tags, it doesn't matter if I don't know what the brand is. If I don't know anything about it, I will always pick it up and I will do the research and figure out about it on the back end. And I am really happy with this one. This is a Bravado. And it is a nursing tank top. It is new with tags, like I said, and it is a 40F, which it says equates to, god damn, I need my freaking glasses, this is horrible, which says it equates to a triple D or a G, and it has the um, easy access right there for nursing, and again, New with tags, I always pick up new with tags. I'll see where it goes from there. But I gotta tell you, this retails for about $45. I'm gonna start it out high at um, 34. And I actually really hope to get about 24 for it. I'm, I'm enthusiastic to see how it goes since it is a nursing top and I have not put anything in my store that is maternity or nursing and it'll give me a little bit of an idea as to whether I should pick that stuff up. As a person who is not a mom, I got no freaking clue, <laughs> so we'll just see. This was one of those, uh, this is one of those I'm at the bins and I'm like, ooh, I think this brand is something, but again, I'm not in the mall, I'm not in the stores not, uh, often enough as I used to be. Personal goal to get the fuck back out there because I figure stuff out. Calabaya, if I said that correctly, I'm like, oh, this is like a REI brand, so um, this should be good and it's short season coming up. This is, R, is an REI-like brand in that it is the generic cheapy version of it. So this is not gonna make me much money. Um, I'm gonna put them in there for about 14. I hope to get at least $9 for them. They are a cute pair of shorts. I think they're really wearable. They do have um, a little bit of stretch to them and they're a size 12. So not something I would pick up again, but I'm definitely gonna see the return on the investment, even if I make only $9 on them, considering everything from this Ben's trip cost about like 15. Next up, I love this. It totally caught my eye in the bins. Total preppy Chanel vibes, right? It is apple seed. 
which looks like it's a catalog brand. It is petite, so I do very well with petites and plus sizes, so I did decide to pick it up. Um, cute ribbon accent details. I love this fraying at the pockets. Those are some real pockets. Two buttons, very cute kind of tweed style. Something like this retails for $129. Um, I'm hoping to get a little bit more for it, but when I did the comps on Poshmark, it looks like they're actually selling more in the 24 to 39 range. I don't know if it's one of those, like everybody nowadays. It retails at 139, but it's fucking 69.99 every damn day, so what does the retail price mean? Are we over it yet? I'm so over the everything 50% off all the time. Well then just market it at that price every fucking day. Screw you Coles for starting this strategy. Anywho, rant aside, um, I'm expecting to get anywhere between 24 and 39 for this, so I'll be happy with that. Now, you know I can't go to the bins without passing up some 80s ridiculousness, and I clearly have a soft spot for ridiculous sweaters. If you follow me, you know that this is a problem of mine. I could not let this one go. This is a new-to-me brand. It is Maggie Lawrence, it looks like. This is a true 80s sweater with that Raimi, 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 Raimi cotton mix, like all the other crazy 80s sweaters are. Nice, big, beefy, thick quality, and it is is a true ugly Christmas sweater button down cardigan front with some fun little details on it as with all my Christmas sweaters or all my crazy sweaters or all my 80s ugly sweaters that I cannot resist I start them at 29 and we'll go from there if I get 19 for it I will be happy um, I may be sitting on that for a little while turn on those are a little bit slower um, this I absolutely love it is Lily and Me. It is a size 10. It is this very cool um, geometric print. And it's just like a faux wrap knit three-quarter sleeve. Um, I believe that's three-quarter sleeves. I haven't measured them yet. Um, V-neck faux wrap shirt. Super cute. Uh, after doing some research, this looks like it is a UK brand. Something like this retails for about $38. Um, I am going to start it at 19 and hope that I get 14 to 19 for it. Again, not something I would pick up since I'm trying to hit that over $20 price point, but I'm still going to see my return on the investment given I paid a buck for 15 for it. Again, I haven't done a bunch of workout stuff. I just really love this top. It is Ari and it is a tank. It is extra small. I just thought it was cute with the um, bright peach crochet backing. Again, not something I would pick up again. Only expecting to get 9 to 14 for it. Just thought it's cute. Now we get into the, oh my god, I found some weird brandy thing not uh, how should I describe it it's like the UPS fests all over again so you know there's a lot of resellers out there that there's promotional items and um, uniforms and stuff like this that moves so whenever I see anything in the bins I just say what the fuck pick it up and we'll see what happens and that is what I did with this Girl Scouts of the USA blazer size 18 Green blazer, pockets, one button. The one button is the Little Girl Scouts emblem. Um, I have no freaking clue. I did a lot of research. I cannot find this exact top by itself. I did find this with a matching pencil skirt and it was selling on eBay for about 100, 120. So I'm gonna start this puppy out at 49 and I gotta be honest, if I get 20 bucks for it, I will be happy. But again, it's just that weird shit that you never realize is gonna sell, but just, if you're paying a dollar, man, grab it and give it a try. So we shall see. Hey, I didn't think that UPS vest, which I'll post right here, was gonna fucking sell 50 bucks. Who's buying this stuff? Do you have to buy it because you work at the store? I can't imagine that, or work for the company, I can't imagine 50 bucks is cheaper I can't imagine they would charge you that much for a uniform. So is it like old school 90s where you just want to wear UPS because it's totally cool losery type of fucking thing? 
I don't get it. But I will take that money all day long, bitches. Here's another one. I think um, my other half, Brent, actually pulled this out of the bins. Um, it is USPS, bitches. Um, male sweater. Here's the actual tag from the manufacturer. This one is in a little bit, um, there is a teeny bit of pilling on it. So it's not as super awesome um, as the other one as far as quality, but it's zip front um, pockets. And again, I'm gonna try that at $49.99. If I get 20 bucks for it, I'll be super stoked and it's definitely worth my time. And um, definitely worth my time in that $1.15. I just want to pick things up like this just to see. Like, it is my favorite thing. If I picked up something from Anthropology and it sold for $50, I'd be like, hey, well, cool, that's fun. When I pick up shit like this that you never expected, oh my God, I live for it. It is so much fun. That's what makes this whole process fun. The, the last item, if you're waiting here and you're sitting through this video for this long and you know anything about this brand, please, 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 please let me know. I am going to massacre the name. It is an Italian brand. It is made in Italy. I did get that hanger out because you just have to wait. I am like so into this. So I picked up this jacket in the bins 100% based on looks. So you have this faux um, elbow patch with the stitching, a freaking plethora of buttons at the sleeve. And then when you get in, and I hope that you can see it with the hanger in just because I can hold it better. It is like construction gore. I mean, the construction is just gorgeous. All these little hidden inside pockets, all this what appears to be hand stitching on the inside. Again, pocket hand stitching, this overlay on the collar. I mean, everything about this is screaming to me, oh my God, this construction is gorgeous. I have to pick this up. Here's the brand. I'm not going to pretend to say it because I'm going to massacre it. It is a size 48. And again, it says it's made in Italy. Now it is lightweight. It's not a heavy, heavy blazer. It is men's. It just seems very well constructed, very well tailored. And I really don't know what to think about it. I have found a few of these um, by this brand, a little bit different silhouette on eBay and the prices are freaking everywhere. <laughs> I don't even know what to think. Now when you go to the website, it looks like they retail for about $2.29. But again, prices on eBay are everywhere. I mean, you could see it for like 20 bucks. You can see it for 120 bucks. So I don't know if it depends on the silhouette or the style. I just really, really appreciate it. I appreciate the craftsmanship. I'm going to start it out high as I always do. Um, I'm going to start it out at 119 and I really hope to get at least 69 for it. But again, we shall see. But this has got to be my favorite Ben's find for the trip. I just love it. I, I didn't know anything about this brand. Um, it's just super stoked to see something of that quality construction when I'm searching through the bins. So like I said before in the intro, um, between the free stuff, um, I was, uh, I told you the price of that already, just the Goodwill. And this does include those, those, um, one pair of shoes that I got at the Goodwill store at regular price for the Goodwill items. I'm expecting to make anywhere between $413 and 679. So I'm pretty stoked with that given I only spent $25 and 39 cents. So living for the bins, time to go to the bins again. All um, working on uh, photographing half of this stuff is already photographed crafting it up once the rest of it is up you know my strategy I am not allowed to go to the bins until everything is photographed and back up there otherwise I will have piles on piles on piles on death piles so um 
this stuff should be up by the end of the week and then we will be hitting the bins again next week so not too shabby some freebie stuff and some goodwill overall total between the two like i said only spent 25 dollars and between the two expect to make anywhere between 509 dollars and 815 so definitely worth the time and effort of um, doing some bins hunting and um, research and getting all that online so i really hope that you enjoyed this whole whole video um like i said before if you enjoy it give me a thumbs up and i will continue to make some more haul videos and if you like where this channel is going go ahead and subscribe and until next time i hope you have a fantabulous week and i shall see you next friday with a new video till then take care guys bye, -bye.